Hello? What would you like me to do? No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle is another tale in Travis Touchdown's twisted life. After competing in the first Assassin's Tournament and being crowned number one, Travis is again approached by the sexy Sylvia to compete again. This time, he has to kill 50 assassins, all in the hopes of, uh, well, getting laid. From that premise alone, you know this is going to be a wacky game, rich with cheesy one-liners and colorful characters that are equal parts both insane and brilliant. It's got some great, clever writing, but unfortunately the plot seems to take a dive about halfway through and seems unfinished. It's like a great Quentin Taylor Taylor movie, if only he didn't really finish it. Kinda like that driving movie, which sucked. Mr. Touchdown! It's an honor to face you. Man, I love your name. You gonna fight me with all your hoes? Simply put, this is a hack and slash game. Armed with a trusty beam katana, Travis will slice his way through hordes of goons, paving his way to the assassins with blood all over him. It's simple and it's a rinse and repeat kind of method that gets old fast, though the bosses are unique and quirky at least. Aside from the main quest, Travis can also partake in assassin missions and mini games to help earn money. You can buy upgrades, new clothes, and more, but it gets quite repetitive as well. The overall miotony is the game's biggest flaw, and it's only amplified by the atrocious camera angles. I cannot uh, stress this enough, though I do say it quite a bit in my game reviews, but the camera angles, seriously. Come on guys, let's uh, put some work into these things, huh? Oh, no. oh, I feel really nervous. I think I'm gonna puke. OMG, I bet you hate girls who puke. Uh, never really thought about it. No More Hero 2 looks good on some aspects and terrible on others. The cell shading gives the game a great sense of style, even for a Wii game, emphasizing the bombastic characters and explicit gore. The minigames are also amazing, giving homage to classic 8-bit games. That said, the environments are awful, empty, and boring. Despite there being a lot to do, its repetitive plus the atrocious load times make these activities seem more like a chore. The soundtrack is good, at least mixing rock, electronic, and even a little hip-hop in there for good measure. It's a great all-around package if you're looking for a great unique style to complement the already crazy story, but the mechanics and everything else around it uh, just could have used a little bit more fleshing out. But again, for a Wii game, uh, you can't really ask for too much more. If you kill me, you can fight Travis, but that's a huge it. You talk a lot of trash for a child. No More Heroes 2 has a lot of good ideas that ultimately fall flat. If you love Suda51 and his games, then perhaps you can look past its numerous flaws. After all, the bloody action is fun for a little bit, and the character's story and cell shading is well worth a look, even, again, for a Wii game. Not a buy, mind you, but a rent, put it on easy, and enjoy the frustrating ride. Spare me the mystic crap. I came here to fight. Trust the promise, kids. 